Precipitation is a big word that is used in science to describe any time water falls out of the sky. Sometimes it falls in liquid form. We call this rain. Sometimes it is frozen into beautiful snow crystals called snow. Other times it's only a little bit frozen. This is called sleet. Sometimes precipitation comes down as hard balls of ice called hail. These are all ways water can fall from the sky as precipitation. Rain is the most common form of precipitation. To make rain, water from the Earth's surface must evaporate or turn into water vapor that rises up into the air. This water vapor condenses. When this happens, the vapor turns back into water droplets, which form clouds. If too many water droplets gather in the clouds, they begin to fall back to Earth's surface as rain. Rain is extremely important to life on Earth. It helps plants grow and gives animals, including humans, fresh water to drink. Snow forms the same way as rain. However, to make snow, it must be very cold in the clouds. The temperature must be below freezing. When this happens, the water droplets in the clouds freeze into ice crystals that we call snowflakes. The snowflakes fall to the ground. Snowflakes can come in many different shapes and patterns. Sleet is different than snow. To make snow, the water droplets must freeze in the cloud. To make sleet, the water droplets freeze after they leave the cloud, on their way to the ground. Sleet begins as rain falling from the cloud. Before it hits the ground, it turns into ice. Sleet is sometimes called freezing rain. Hail is the fourth type of precipitation. Hailstones are hard balls of ice. They can be as small as a grain of sand or as big as a softball. Although hail is ice, it does not happen when it's cold outside like snow and sleet. Hail actually forms during summer thunderstorms. Hail happens when water droplets are caught in the rising air or updraft of a thunderstorm. They rise high into the sky where it's very cold and freeze into small balls of ice. The small hailstones fall and then get caught in the rising air once more. Each time this happens, the hailstone gets bigger until it finally falls to the ground. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.